Watch this. I want to show you something. So listen, I just read some scriptures, right? So the Lord, do, do you like what's happening in your community? I know I'm asking you, but do you like, like it's gang banging, drug dealing, murder, all these things taking place. Are you cool with that? But what about your people though? You live in a good community, but what about the rest of your people? We a nation. I'm, I'm asking you a question. Are you comfortable with what you see taking place amongst your people? Sir, are you comfortable with what you see taking place? So guess what, bro? The Lord is asking a question. Who's gonna stand up for him against the evildoers? Is it not evil to kill somebody? To commit murder? Yes or no? I'm asking you, is it good to just murder somebody because you are you my op? Because I don't like you. Is it is it is that good? No. What about these little babies that's getting killed? What about these women that's getting killed? Bring it up. Is that cool? Getting kidnapped. What about what about our women that's getting kidnapped? Or so overseas. Organ trafficking. Organ trafficking. What about that stuff, bruh? Is that good? So what you gonna do about it? Give me that in Psalm 94. Hold it up and go back there. So God is calling you to stand up for your people. To come out here and preach this gospel, to bring them back to the Bible. Watch this. So, chapter 94 and verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? So God is asking you a question. What's your name? Malik? Malik, my name is Zephaniah. God is calling you right now. He says, who is going to rise up for me against the evildoers? Against the gangbangers, against the drug dealers, against the thieves, against the murderers, against the drug dealers. The Lord is asking a question. Are you going to stand up for God? You believe in the Bible, right? You believe in God, right? You got to not go off your own understanding, bro. You got to go off what God is asking you. You understand what I'm saying? We got to come back to this Bible. You can't say, well, I think this, or I think that. The Lord is calling you right now, brother. Believe it or not, when he calls you, it's best you ask him. And come back to this Bible before he brings judgment upon you. You understand that? Read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? And a lot of people don't like us when we come out here and teach this. This is what we're teaching. We're teaching our people to stand up, the men, to stand up for God against the evil that's taking place in our community. What? Malik, the Lord is calling you, bruh. You might not make it tomorrow. Right now you gotta repent. Right now you gotta say, I stand up for the Lord. What is it that I gotta do? And you come amongst your brothers and learn how to stand up for God against the evil that's taking place in our community. You don't know if you're gonna be here tomorrow. You understand what I'm saying? You got to get your mind right right now before the destruction comes to America. You got to get it together now, bro. You got to. Read that one more time. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Or against the workers of iniquity. You know one way that you can stand up for God and be against the evil that's taking place in our community? By being an example. Give me this in 1 Corinthians 3 real quick. You can drop that one. 1 Corinthians 3. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? The temple is talking about your body. The Bible says, know ye not that you are the temple of God. Your body is, belongs to God. You understand? Read on. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. So God's spirit is supposed to dwell in our people because we are his sons. We are his daughters. We are the children of Israel. So the spirit of God is supposed to dwell in us. If any man defile the temple of God, the Bible says if you defile your temple, you know how you defile your temple? Getting tattoos, what else? Smoking, what else? Having sex outside of marriage. These are some of the things you do to defile your temple. Hey, brother, you hear what God says? God, hey, come here, bro, for a minute. God is calling the men, but no men got time to stand up for God until God bring forth judgment. So one way you can stand up for God, bro, and show repentance and show that you love the Lord and you want to help your people is by stop defiling your temple. God says, if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. The Lord is going to bring forth judgment upon you, bro. He's going to kill you. Point blank period. That's what he's saying. It says, him shall God destroy because the, the Lord can't dwell in your temple if you smoke it. 
Right. Just like a building. You see a bed to building, you say, damn, that, that bed to building got termites in it. It's eating up all the wood. It's about to crumble. Can anybody live in that building? What they gonna do? They gonna knock it down. They gonna knock that building down. That's the same thing the Lord is saying about you. By smoking. That's right. Bring it out. You gotta, you gotta let that go, bro. What, what, uh, what, it, uh, what is that giving you? What help is that uh, giving you? Is that helping you, or is it destroying your lungs? It's helping. Hold on, wait a minute. So you saying smoking nourishes your body? It don't do nothing, bro. You think it does something, but it don't do anything. It I used to smoke. It destroys your lungs, bro. Believe it or not, it's destroying you, and the Lord is gonna kill you if you continue doing it. You understand what I'm saying? You gotta repent, bruh. You gotta come up out of that. What you got right here? Uh, give me that in Peter. I'm gonna show you if you don't repent what's gonna happen. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 3 and verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Because I know you're still listening, right? You smoke? You heard what the Lord just said about the fire of your temple, right? You love God. You know you're Israelite. Are you gonna repent? You gonna stop smoking? That's repentance. That's what the Lord is looking for. It's not hard, bro. I yes, smoked for 20 some years and didn't do anything for me but destroy my lungs, bro. Barely can breathe sometimes because of smoking. Read it again. Hey, bro, wait, but the wait, day of the man, Lord man. will come man. as a thief no. in the night man, man. in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. So the Bible says that the heavens, meaning the kingdom on this earth, is going to pass away with a great noise. What's going to make that great noise? Nuclear missiles. That's what's coming. World War III is coming. Our people over here sleep. They don't even know what the hell is going on, but they grew up in church because your pastor has, has led you astray from the Bible. He took you backwards. He told our people lies. Read. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The elements, everything that you see is going to melt with fervent heat. You understand? That's when Christ returned. That's why he says, I'm gonna, it's gonna be the same way as in the days of Noah, it's gonna be when Christ returns. Nuclear fire is gonna come here and everybody's gonna get caught off guard. To scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.